Hi everyone and welcome back to Adventure. Today I thought it might be fun to talk about something other than speculating what cruising will be like when we start sailing again, when will the ships be ready, all of those questions that are ever changing. I thought it might be fun to talk about something different. So today I'm going to talk about the top 10 things that can be found in the ships lost and found on board, starting with the first to the 10th from the most common to the most unusual. I, th I think you might be surprised. So stay with me. We'll start right after this. Number one, you probably guessed it, the most common lost and found item in lost and found are your cabin keys. Now, back in the olden days, we used to have keys, actual keys to the cabin, but now almost every all cruise lines, I have to say, now have the cabin keys. Now, you see, I save all mine because they're kind of cool to have. But if you remember, no matter if you are um, a Platinum or a gold member, which I am, or you just have the blue card, none of these cards have your, now if you haven't sailed in a while, none of the cabin keys, whoop, upside down. None of the cabin keys have your name. Here's the back. None of the cabin keys have your name or cabin number on the card. That way for security, if you lost this, someone can't pick this up and go to your cabin and know exactly who lives there and what cabin you're in. So none of these have the names on the inside, on the front side, or the back side. Um, so you really have to keep tabs on these. Now, if you lose this, it's not a problem. You just go down to the purser's office or the information desk now, they call it, um, and they will issue you a new card. Now, you wanna keep track of it um, because it does get old if you keep losing it. Also, one time I actually, if you can see on this card, this was the, the 50 year celebration. I went down and I asked them to poke a hole in it so that I could wear it on a lanyard. Now, of course, when you do that, you have to make sure that it's not on the strip, but it's on this part. So there are things that you can do to wear it around your neck or keep it in your wallet or your little bag that you carry around. But this is the number one, and rightly so, the number one item that's found in the lost and found. It does remind me of a story one time since it doesn't have names or cabin numbers on it. One time I was walking down the hall and this little lady, she came running up to me and said, can you tell me where my cabin is? Which way do I need to go? Where is my cabin? And so she's handing me her card. I said, ma'am, do you remember the name of the deck that you're on? Or do you remember your cabin number? And she said, no, but this is my card. And I said, well, and I you know, reminded her that her name's not on here, nor is her cabin for security reasons. It's best for you. It's best for her. So let's take a walk down to the information desk and we'll get you to your cabin. So number one, cabin keys. And number two, the second most common thing left in the lost and found on board are sunglasses, reading glasses, and prescription glasses. What more can I say? Okay, number three, the third most common thing found on board the ship's lost and found are reading materials, iPads, storybooks, reading material that passengers have brought on board and they've left them at different places. Now, when I asked over 100 crew staff members and crew members what the most unusual or the funniest things left on board, I was expecting this video to be a funny kind of comedy, laughing at funny things that were left on board or maybe unusual things that were left on board. but. This is kind of boring so far, but I promise we'll start getting into the more interesting items. Okay, number four. The most common fourth thing left in the lost and found are, let's put it in the category of breathing. So one is children, husbands, and even a dog once. 
So the waiter said that the dog got away in the dining room and was wandering around the ship. Someone found the cute little poodle and brought him to the lost and found. Children, I can understand the panic. You know, where's Jimmy? Husbands, hmm, he was probably hiding in the first place. Let's leave him there. Okay, I promised you it would start getting a little more interesting. So the number fifth thing left in the lost and found. This was across the board from many, many cabin stewards. They actually had this pretty much, this usually, this was pretty much common. And grandma, if you're listening, please close your ears. Anyway, mainly left in the cabins behind passengers in brown paper bags were adult toys. I don't know why they leave them on board, but the cabin stewards actually had to take them and turn them into lost and found. So anyway, the fifth most common item in lost and found, brown bags from the cabin stewards. Okay, Grandma, you can listen now. The sixth most common thing left in the lost and found came in from the dining room waiters or maybe the maitre d', and it was dentures or false teeth that were left behind at dining room tables. <laughs> okay, I, I don't want, I have nothing else to add. I don't want to be rude. Number seven, after working on board as a shore excursion manager for over seven years myself, Many times the tour agents on land after the tour would bring items over that passengers had left on either the boats or the tour buses. And one time we had a really good laugh. Uh, they brought over just one woman's bathing suit top. We had a good laugh. And now if we were in Martinique and maybe they ventured over to the French side, maybe they obviously didn't need their bathing suit top. But it was very curious that they were able to turn in just one bathing suit top. On another note, I did put it in the lost and found and the pursers did have a good laugh and they were waiting and watching to see which female would come and claim that bathing suit top. So we had a good time with that. And number eight, another interesting situation. One of the technicians in our internet cafe on board said that one morning he came in and there was a pair of men's pants left on the floor by one of the computers. And as he was getting ready to bag them up and take them up to Lost and Found, a gentleman came in looking for them. I asked him, hey, what, what was his excuse? Why were his pants left in the internet cafe? And the technician <laughs> wouldn't tell me. He said the guys had, they had a nice laugh, um, but he would not tell me. But he seemed to be very amused at the answer. So that is number eight. Okay, time for a little commercial break. So if you're enjoying my video and would like to see more, please make sure that you subscribe. And if you push that little bell, then you will be notified anytime I have a new video up. Also remember I have my new Etsy store online where I am finding things in thrift shops and antique stores and estate sales, things to remind us of travel. And I'm taking you along with me on many of those adventures. So I'm finding things that are made in different countries, things that are from cruise ships, or things that just remind us of travel until we can get out there and travel again. That being said, on with number nine and 10. Number nine, one of the most unusual items in the lost and found was a little box about this big and inside were ashes. And when the lady came to claim it, out of respect, we didn't ask her any questions, nor did she explain anything. But we thought possibly maybe she and her husband had always wanted to take a cruise and so she ended up bringing him with her. Or possibly maybe she wanted to scatter his ashes out over the ocean and then realized it was against the law. So she ended up just taking him back home with her. We don't know, but that was very unusual. And now for number 10 of the most unusual things brought to the lost and found on board a cruise ship. So it came in about four o'clock in the morning when the cleaning crew was cleaning out the, the nightclub after all the passengers had returned to their cabins. And what they brought in 
was an artificial leg with dress pants on it, a dress shoe, and dress sock. Now, out of respect for the gentleman who left it there, I must say, he I'm glad it looks like he was having a really good time that night in the nightclub. So, so there you have it, the most unusual top 10 things left in the lost and found on board a cruise ship. And those are some of the things that make working on board very memorable. And so I hope you enjoyed my little video. And until next time, ciao for now.